welcome. What's up, everyone? Ah, 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 ah. Mark O'Bunner, TigerFitness.com. So, kids, you want to be a pro bodybuilder, huh? I get a lot of emails daily, and I usually get people mad at me for telling them the truth. Excuse me, that belching is okay when you're on camera in front of hundreds and thousands of people. No, no, I get really angry people because kids come to me and they're like, Mark, dude, I want to be a pro bodybuilder. It is my dream. It is my goal. I'm 16 years old. I know exactly what I want in life, and I want to be a pro bodybuilder. I want to be a pro. Well, I like that goal. I like people who set short, long-term goals. I think we all should set short and long-term goals. I definitely do. Don't get me wrong on that one. However, I want to tell you a little story about when you just kind of use that as your sole purpose. Now, first of all, you should set a goal that has a monetary benefit. Now, bodybuilding in general, unless you're in the top five to 10 or you know how to market yourself brilliantly, you're not going to make a living being a bodybuilder. You're going to have to train on the side. You're going to have to, some people sell drugs on the side. You're going to have to do something on the side. So you're not just going to be able to do the weightlifting thing and get it done. Now, you want to be able to make money. How do you make money? You stay in school. So for all you kids emailing me at 16, 17, even 18 years old of this dream of being an IFPB, a NABA, or whatever pro, let me just give you some straight facts. Number one is most bodybuilders don't make anything. They don't make money. They don't make anything at all. I have bodybuilders emailing me every day from the IFBB stag ranks, from the NABA ranks, from the natural ranks, wanting a sponsorship. Now, when a lot of these athletes do get sponsorships, a lot of you might think they're rolling. Oh, no. A lot of these athletes, even the pros, are getting paid in supplements only. That means that your big payout is going to be a tub of whey protein a month. Well, obviously, a bit more than that. And they'll fly out to expos. They'll pay your way. But at the end of the day, that's not going to put food on your table. That's not going to pay your bills. Okay, so here's the thing. There's, it's a very small sport. You look at the Mr. Olympia, the Arnold Classic. We fill an arena, right? Major League Baseball fills one of those in 50 states every single night. They fill it with 60, 80,000 people. We're lucky to get five to 10,000 people. And we only have two major events a year. I was at the Europa Connecticut a couple years ago. My buddy Chad Austin and Damon Gillis with me, there were approximately 15 people watching the pro bodybuilding show. These are pros. Cedric McMillan, you had some really good top-notch pros. He actually won it that day on stage. And guess what? Nobody cared. There's very little money in bodybuilding. So what I like to say, bodybuilding, it's a hell of a hobby. Okay, you don't need to be a professional full-time bodybuilder to be a professional bodybuilder. Ronnie Coleman won six Mr. Olympias while being a full-time cop. Jay Cutler did so many side projects as Mr. Olympia. He traveled around the world. He did his thing. You guys were successful. They had jobs. They made it happen. Now, a lot of these guys ended up retiring once they reached that level. But honestly, look yourself in the mirror. You look at Ronnie Coleman, his genetics. Look at Jay Cutler, his genetics. Look at Dexter Jackson, his genetics. Are you Jay Cutler? Are you Ronnie Coleman? No. Am I Jay Cutler? Absolutely not, man. My genetics are great, but they're not Jay Cutler great. Or I have good genetics. I'm not going to lie. I put on muscle pretty well. I've always been a pretty decent bodybuilder. You know, even as a lightweight, I was a damn good bodybuilder. <clears throat> um, so what are you looking at doing with this? What I recommend, and this for all the tens of tens of people, I don't. I, all I know is I get at least a couple a week who email me asking, hey, Mark, you know, what can I do to be a bodybuilder? How do I become a pro bodybuilder? And my, my answer is, what do you do? You stay in school, man. You get a real job. You get a career. And guess what? I remember, I think it was Tom Prince said, hell, back in my day, bodybuilding was only between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. After that, we had a real job. And I think that's what you need to look at. Look, I'm not an IFBB pro. I'm an ABBA pro, which is a pretty god, gosh damn gosh damn, gosh darn good pro organization. Um, at the end of the day, man, I work 20 hour days some days. Most days I work above 16. You know, I have three kids, I have a wife, but I train in the morning and I did my cardio when I could. And that's really all it takes. You don't need to focus on bodybuilding to be a good bodybuilder. You need to focus on career, you need to focus on family, and if you believe in it, you need to focus on God. 
Then comes bodybuilding and bodybuilding should bring them all together. Now the difference between a pro bodybuilder and someone who just lives recreationally is honestly food. Let's look at a natural bodybuilder. Let's take drugs out of the equation. Okay, it's going to be their food they eat. They're going to eat. They're going to follow their macros. They're going to be very stringent about that. It's going to be how hard they train, how often, how consistent they train, and genetics. Other than that, man, you're just like every other gym rat who goes maybe four days a week, five days a week and trains. Those are the differentiating factors. So if you want to be a pro bodybuilder, be a pro bodybuilder, but don't think for one second that you're going to pay your bills doing it. If you do, you're awesome. But be like Ronnie Coleman. Have a real job just in case that bodybuilding thing doesn't work out. Have a real job to make sure that, gosh darn it, if you're not Ronnie Coleman in genetics, you're going to make it happen. Then all these kids send me a picture and I'm like, dude, this guy has no potential of being Mr. Olympia ever. He's not even going to be Mr. Connecticut. He's not even going to be Mr. Saskatchewan. Yet he thinks he's going to be a pro athlete. Now, I'd hate to be the one to slap reality in your face. But the goal of becoming an IFBB pro or a NABA pro or a... Um, IFPA Pro or an AMBF Pro is an amazing goal and I say you should keep it. However, if that goal comes at the expense of family, if that goal comes at the expense of friends, if that goal comes at the expense of your business, and if that goal comes in, in, in the way of your relationship with whatever your spiritual advisor might be, then you need to reconsider your priorities in life. But nonetheless, if you're 16, 18 years old and you're looking at a career, look at a career and bodybuild as a hobby. And if you're good enough at it, trust me, you'll go pro no matter how much time you spend. I mean, come on, man. What are you going to train more than an hour and a half a day? What the fuck? How much cardio can you possibly do? How much time can it possibly take you to cook a chicken breast? You can get a real fucking job and be a bodybuilder. That's it, guys. I just want to set the record straight. Hopefully, I can copy and paste this email when I get this question 400 fucking times in the next year. I'm Mark Lobiner, TigerFitness.com. Cause sitting on your ass playing video games all day, thinking you'd be the next fucking Phil Heath. It's not a game. <laughs>